As we have been reporting, at least 27 people have been killed in an earthquake that hit central Italy this morning. Bloomberg's Lizzie Janis has been following the story for us from London. We join her now. Lindsay. Good morning, Deja. Five children are said to be among the dead, and at least 30 people remain unaccounted for as emergency workers dig through the rubble. The 6.3 magnitude quake struck at about 3.30 a.m. local time, close to the medieval city of La Equila, which is around 60 miles from Rome. The city is home to around 68,000 people. Now, officials say that the death toll will likely rise as rescue crews make their way through the debris. Firefighters are being aided by dogs as they try to save people from crumbled homes, including a student dormitory in the city of La Aquila, where half a dozen university students are believed to be trapped. Now, the quake lasted about a minute, collapsing these buildings and leaving thousands of people homeless. Tremors could be felt as far away as in Rome, Deidre. Lindsay, what is the latest from the government of Italy? Italy's Prime Minister, for example? Well, Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi has declared a state of emergency and is canceling a visit to Moscow uh, in order to give moral support to the victims, he says. Um, the head of the Italian civil defense told Sky News in Britain that it's the worst disaster to hit Italy in 10 years. But I think we have uh, um, a statement from Silvio Berlusconi we can, we can bring to you now. Everything is sorted. The decree is there. We are constantly in contact with the local authorities. So you can see uh, officials trying to react to this disaster as quickly as possible. It happened about 3.30 a.m. local time. It's now about 11 a.m. local time. Italy lies to the north of a zone where the African and Eurasian plates meet. Now, these tectonic plates continuously rub against each other, sometimes causing earthquakes. And the last big one to, stru to strike this region uh, was in 2002. It killed 29 people. The medieval town of uh, La Aquila has actually been destroyed virtually by two quakes, one in 1461 and one in 1703. Lindsay, yeah. any reaction in the European markets to the earthquake? Well, it's certainly been a shock this morning. A lot of people talking about it. It's not very often that you get an earthquake in the heart of continental uh, Europe. The Italian market, though, is still higher, as are the rest of Europe's main markets in London, Paris, and Frankfurt. Uh, investors still optimistic that government and central bank measures are working to kind of normalize financial markets. Uh, the big story here in Europe today is HSBC. Its shares are climbing after investors uh, bought about 97% of its $19 billion rights offering, which is the biggest in British corporate history. There you can see it's shares up nearly 6%. Deirdre, back to you. Lindsay, thanks so much. Lindsay Janice there for us in London.